Okay, so uh, this is the demo of the simple sequencer MK2, also also called not so simple sequencer, and basically it's a copy of uh, Metropolis by Intelligel, but it's much smaller. And this is not the final design. Also, the cameras are shit, but I can see it quite well, and the screen is at least focused. So yeah, there is a booting screen as well, or like a splash screen. So when you turn it on, there is like a my logo and this thing and yeah that's like the uh, menu of the uh, user interface so the module was built with no menu diving in mind or like uh, i didn't want it to be and like any levels of menu diving but with this uh, screen saver just so the uh, display doesn't get damaged <coughs> and so it is made in a way that, that uh, like up here, uh, you can see uh, which page you are on, and in the bottom, you can see the parameters, and that's like all the menus. And then you can see this line, now it is orange, and that means that we are uh, changing the top line. So if I change it, I go through all of these menus here, and if I click it, I go down, double click it, I go back up. So, this thir first thing uh, you can hear the displaying right now, but that's just basically uh, writes in the charge mode and ripples as a filter. And so, this first mode is gate length, and you basically set the length of every gate so you can see that now it is flashing just briefly. And and if I set it to like higher or big, uh, uh, longer, it will get it will get longer, and the sound will be like you can hear the gate getting longer as well. So if I, you can hear that they blend together. Slows down the single click uh, when it's uh, when it's expecting a longer <coughs> double click. So you have to click it quite quickly, like this. I don't know if you can hear the click, but whatever. So the next thing is gate out, and basically here are two outputs. And because this was designed for the uh, simple sequencer MK1 that has uh, non-inverted and inverted outputs. I thought I would use this, uh, like I'll make a, another one, but I got this idea. So what I wanted to do is like that you could choose which one of these outputs will be uh, like used as a gate output or none of them. So you could still use it as an ordinary sequencer. Or you can use it as a like a sequence of like gates, but that didn't really work out, and I got uh, like really upset because the encoder wasn't working and there were some issues, so I just gave up. I fixed it like I don't know two days ago, so yeah. So right now you can't change it, and basically the inverted output, the right output, is the gate and the left output receiving. So next up on the menu is where well, these are like the options. CV of. Next up is the step length, and what this does, it basically sets the it sets the length of the steps, like how many uh, pulses does it, it has to count until it switches to the next step. So you can see, like the first, uh, like the last step is eight. So you can hear that this step, this one right here, is eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah. So you can hear that it's eight, like eight steps long. And like this one is six. So if I get it right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So you can hear that six steps. The next up, uh, next thing on this menu is gate type. So you got these like uh, symbols. And right now, these overlap, overlap uh, by 
play one step to the next step so like if you set a long on the second output and a short on the third output you'll hear a piece of the long on the third output but I'll fix that sometimes or something later but basically what you can do is you can set like move by clicking and right now it doesn't refresh as well or as nicely as I would like it to but I'll fix that as well so if you want to change the last step you have to set it to the previous step so let's say I want to change this one so I go before it and then I turn the knob that's kind of kind of dumb but I don't really want to fix it right now now you'll hear that this step should be now longer not because it is only one step so if I go back here and go to this one and make it longer you can see that this step gets much longer gets much longer but we can leave it at that and change this back to like no uh, no gate at all Basically, this means no gate, this means one gate, this means continuous gate, and this is like full. So, double click. The next thing is the directions. Now, there are four modes of directions, and I'll add more later if I free up some space, which I'll hopefully do with removing some of those uh, unnecessary functions. And what you can do in here, you got these nice little graphics. This means it goes in this way. You can change it backwards, so now you can see that it goes backwards. <coughs> you can change it to back and forth, so you can see that it goes back up, like this, and then back down, or random. That random really works nicely with only like four steps, and I'll show you how you, how you can do that in a second. But it works nicely when it, ha it doesn't have that many options to choose. So I'll leave it at the So the last thing in this menu is sequence length. And you, you might have noticed that this knob is like for length as well, because that number. But when you change it, it kind of breaks the module and I'll have to fix that but you can hear that those gates are messed up all and stuff so what uh, what I do is I turn it uh, like over the maximum limit and that gives me free control with the encoder and eventually that will change as well so you can like give this knob any functions any function you want so you can change any any fun any option in the menu in the sequence menu. But now that it is turned bit, uh, like over the combat light, you can see those lights kind of, <coughs> those numbers. So now uh, you can see that it is over the uh, like end limit. So now I can control it with the encoder. So I click, click, and then I can set it to four steps. So you can see now it only does four steps and if I go back to the random you hear what I was talking about so it's like sounds kind of cool like that or what what you can also do is go here and you can see that also the font and stuff is getting better uh, like bigger with, uh, with the uh, length so now it is set to 8 and if I can actually, even though this is only 8 steps, I can set it up to 16 steps. So now if I set it to 10 steps, it will go like this, 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 and this, this. That's 10 steps. And then it will restart. So you can see that it does 10 steps. This one, and this one, then this one, again this one, again this one, and then continues. So it resets after 10 steps. You can set it to up to 16, I think, and yeah, like this. And it's like the circles are getting much bigger than they should be and stuff. That's like because you're going out of the, you know, like out of the <coughs> uh, supposed length. So it's at back to eight. <coughs> this also refreshes with the knob, but as I said, it must be the software right now. 
what I'll fix that soon. <clears throat> okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you <clears throat> is that you can save the pre you, like you can save the current state. So if I hold it, it'll say saved, <clears throat> and that means that the that it saved all of the settings. And now if I restart it, <clears throat> so if we go here and restart it can see that it boots with the settings that we set there. So this is 6, this is as it was, as it was, and this stuff is as it was set before I turned it off. <coughs> the, the next nice thing <coughs> is uh, that you can, uh, like when you get to higher speeds, uh, because there is the gate length, you can change the length of the gates, obviously, and make it still keep up with the tempo nicely. So if I set it to faster block, like this, you can hear that it kind of blends in, so they make the gates shorter. Now you can hear that the gates are getting like reasonably short. set to the sequencer to keep it in tempo or anything. So if I just simply patch up a like another sound, let's take the divide by two and plug it into a ADS song. Control the step length with a CV, but I'm not gonna show that here because I think I haven't even uh, programmed it in yet. That's on the old version. And the other thing is, uh, you can uh, it has a reset input. So if I take a uh, if I take a gate generator, yes, gate, because like when you hold it high, it will. So if I now hold the gate, it should, but it doesn't work. But it was working before. That doesn't matter. And I can fix that. <coughs> so that doesn't work. That's nice. nice. And then you've got this hold input, and ba that basically holds the steps, the step, but it keeps uh, like repeating the gate. So if I go to, if I. Yeah, now you can hear that it is uh, like sending just small gates because this step <coughs> has only, I think, only one gate, so it repeats with every uh, clock cycle. It repeats this step, and if I uh, hold it on this step, you can you can see that it keeps repeating the gate that it has saved. Uh, like when it was in the last step, like this. <coughs> and then if I hold it on something, um, yeah, now you can see that it is the filter is closed because it is not sending any gate. 
So that's like the last feature that I have on it right now. But more features to come definitely and yeah, that's probably all. Boy, this is 15 minutes. I didn't mean for that to happen, but whatever, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe to my channel, because more stuff is coming. More cool stuff is coming. I'll talk to you later.